People, OG7 back here. Hey, lace you with some knowledge how to get in touch with your, your true self, your true inner animal. It's deep inside of you. How to tap into that and master it. So, uh, this video here, this is an introduction to my video that's going to follow, right? So, this is where I actually show you how to basically, um, let me see here, I'll put that in there, how to get started. So, a lot of people when they're like 14 years old, and that's my target group, but if you're 24, 34, 44, or 54, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm trying to reach these young people so they can have an excellent life based on sports, uh, physical fitness, being a student, a constant learner, you know what I'm saying? A true warrior, a martial artist, I would say. That's just a complete human being, right? I'm trying to help them. But you can take my knowledge at any age that you're at. But this is called getting started. This is for a person, no matter what your age is, that you you really taking my advice to heart. And it's really touching you, like right in here. You're like, hey, man, no, you said but understands me, man. It's talking to me directly. I want to reach you like that. So let's say you're getting started. First, just think about what sport it is you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I encourage you to do running sports, but you got to, you know, even if you, if you start doing water polo, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or table tennis, right, ping pong, it's better than sitting your ass around, man, once you get physical. So what's going to happen is uh, what I want you to do is find a sport that you want to do. So if you're in school, just go to, like, the coach. You know, or the PE teacher say, hey, I want to do this sport. Um, you know, if you're in college, I encourage you to still do it. You know, in college, they got a different level of athleticism, man. Some of those guys are good when I got to college, man. Woo! But I think what's important is, even if the guys like super, super gifted, even if you just practice with them, they will elevate your game. Because in anything in life, when you want to go to the next level, step outside of your comfort zone, expand your boundaries. You go to somebody that's better than you, you associate with them, they will force you to grow. It's not going to be comfortable, but hey, you're going to grow. So let's just say, and I'm covering at different levels. Let's just say you're a grown person and you're just tired of being fat or out of shape or the doctor's telling you you got to deal with some situations. You go to your community centers and you look at a sport that you want to do. So once you look at the sport you want to do, you talk to the official authority that gets you signed up, whether they tell you you got to get a physical or you know, doctor's clearance, whatever you got to do. Just, you know, start writing down. This is where your journal comes in. Start writing down who you talk to, what they told you you got to do. And then um, you the next step, you write down your action items. Oh, you know, Monday I'm going to call my doctor and make an appointment to get a physical, you know. And then once I get the appointment for a physical, I'm going to fast the night before for the blood. Then I'm going to get the forms, fill them out, turn them in on Thursday. You know, just really serious stuff that has you fucking accountable. Because this is your life, right? This is the way it is. Regimentation is good, but it's also good just to free flow. But it's like hands on ground on the fucking forest. You know, you drop the little breadcrumb so you don't lose your way. But look, along the way, here's my little breadcrumb. Oh, I see a nice little flower in my garden. and pick a flower and know how to come back. Oh, like there's a little froggy come back. You see what I'm saying? So the regimentation gives you a structure from which you to follow to your goals. But there's also little deviations. It's nice, like they say, you know, it's nice to um, pick the roses, you know, along the way. Stop and smell the roses. So once you go ahead and you talk to the authority, you find a sport you want to find the authority, you write down your action plan. Every day, what you want to do is you want to educate yourself on that sport. So what's really great now, and I was just talking to one of my friends the other day. He's a really hardcore uh, martial arts guy. I, I associate with martial arts type people. You know, I know some athletes and stuff and things, and I respect them. You know, I used to be an athlete, but now I've put all my energy into martial arts because I didn't make it to the um, NFL, NBA, just because I made some poor choices. And I didn't have a um, the right leadership, you know. And no, 
I didn't take the time to research it like I'm telling your young ass. See? That's all. Sometimes you're not going to have a role model and a mentor who's got your best interests at heart. It's just the way it is. Huh? But that's why I'm telling you, if you follow these steps, look, you find out what sport you want to play, talk to the official authority of the sport. Like, hey, what I got to do is sign up. Do what they tell you to do. Go through the steps to get the paperwork. Do that part. But in the process of that, it might take you a week or two to sign up, right? I don't know. Just depending on the season. But during that process, look, here's the process. You know, one, two, three, four, five. But then there's one A, one B, one C. This is what I call do your own research. You want to become your own authority. So you go on YouTube, man, or you go on Google or Bing. And you go, I'm just going to make this up. Because um, in my opinion, I'm just saying, this is just my opinion, right? Um, I think the I think the sport that I most identify to is football, American football, like NFL football. And I'll tell you why. Like I played basketball. I told you I didn't like baseball. I played it though. You know, I ran track. Um, I played a little bit of soccer, not a lot. You know, I swam, did gymnastics, played tennis. You know, I didn't really like golf or tried it. But football to me. Um, allowed me to really get in tune with my true self, my inner animal. Because football, man, there's running, man. There's physical acuity. You got to shake dudes. You're getting hit, man. You got to catch the ball. You got to leap. It's very athletic, man. It's actually, like, very beautiful. You guys, don't get me wrong. Basketball is beautiful, just, you know, between legs and alley-oop and all that. But there's, um, there's a part of me as an animal, I like physical contact with another man, you know, another barbarian, another warrior, right? And football, to me, epitomized that. Unfortunately, uh, I've got my leg break, broken playing football because, um, you know, I just, um, I wasn't just aware of the situation. But anyway, that's another story. So the point I'm making is um, during that time when you got the paperwork, you fill filling out, you're getting the physical, all of that. You research, man. And so there's there's many forms of research. I just want to cover this, you know, to you, um, Generation Manilium motherfuckers, whatever the fuck you are, whatever you name, call it, you video watching motherfuckers, man. I've had a lot of cats tell me, like young cats tell me, hey, man, I don't like to read books. I can read live videos, man. You know, I can listen to audios. Let me explain something to you. And whatever I tell you guys, I don't want you to take my word for it. Fucking use your smartphone. That's why it's called a smartphone. You got internet on there, motherfucker. You got a series on there, whatever the fuck. Ask some questions. Ask her questions. Google stuff, you know. There's different ways that your brain takes in information. So when you watch a video, okay, first, if you listen to something, that's called audible. And it, it, it works on a different, uh, specific part of your brain. But yeah, you're taking it in. It's still passive. When you video, visual, it's incorporating your audio and your eyes, your occipital lobe, and your, you know, optical nerves and the part of the brain that it processes it in. So, yeah, you're getting more information, so to speak. It is still passive, you know. But when you read a book, there's studies proven that the way that your brain processes it when it comes to your um, optical nerve, you know, your, um, you know, whatever the, the name of your eyeball is, is it the iris or whatever it is, it, it processes a certain way where it actually sticks to you. And so what they actually recommend is when you read a book, you know, you also should highlight and take notes. So yeah, it's longer. But like I was telling you folks, man, from 14 to 18, your whole thing is to get that knowledge, get that paper so you can go off to college, man. It's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I agree with college or the educational institution. There's flaws and everything. But, hey, it is what it is, man. This is the society we live in. Just get with the program until you get your break as a rapper or a dancer or entertainer or whatever. But even when you want to go play pro sports, man, or you want to invent your own inventions or whatever, you still got to go to college, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the probability of a person just branching off and leaving high school and becoming the next great thing short of winning the lottery. And I think to get lottery tickets, you got to be 18. I mean, this is what I tell people. Aim for the fucking stars. 
to keep your feet rooted on earth. And what that means is, until you make it as the next great whatever the fuck you're going to be, you got to play the game, homie. You know what I'm saying? Until you become the, the next great actor, you got to wait tables or be a janitor or garbage man or whatever the fuck. So all I'm saying is, do your research, so watch videos, get audio tapes, and totally immerse yourself into it and get books on it, right? I'm not saying you got to spend all money. You can go to the library, right? And get the kind of physical book, if you can, where you can fill it. It's something about filling it. You can write notes. And then you want to read your notes out, right? So it takes longer, but let me, let me tell you something. You'll really understand. Let's just take basketball. You watch a lot of basketball videos, man, you know? And you listen to a lot of, like, basketball stuff. And you read books on basketball. And then you practice basketball. I guarantee you, man. You're gonna you're gonna make the team. Maybe I'll make it the first year. I got always kind of one of those kind of athletes, you know, because I was like I said, I didn't hit my growth spurt until I was 14. But all since I was like seven or eight years old, I wanted to play sports, and I was too small. But even when I didn't make the team, I still would practice on my own. And after the next year, I make the team, you know. So you become your own authority, and you really really know your sport, right? And then while you're doing that research, of course. You know, you segment your time like if you're in college. Like, say, in college, you, you're taking math and biology and psychology, right? And uh, maybe an art. You got to segment that up, man. You know, maybe you do two hours of study on math, two hours of study on art, two hours of study on whatever. That's eight hours. It's a wrap. And if there's time to party after, cool. If not... Handle your business, get your priorities straight, live your life, because once you get what you need to do as far as knowledge, just trust me, there's going to be time for partying. And it's always time for partying, but it's business before pleasure. Get your work done, so then when you party, it's that much sweeter. But if you party, you ain't done what you need to do. In the back of your mind, you're tripping like, hey man, what if I'm going to do well if I'm going to fell out? You don't want that. You want positive, move forward. So here's a recap. Sit down and decide what sport you really like. It's a sport you like. It doesn't have to be a sport anybody else likes, but one that you're going to really be happy committed to. Because you got to find something that ignites you and puts you in touch with your inner animal, your true inner self. Then go and find the, um, the official body, you know, the authority of that body. Say, hey, how do I go about getting involved in this sport? Get the paperwork, man, and go through and be committed. Get the paperwork done. Follow through, get all that signed, dated, whatever, doctor's clearance, turn it back in, pay the fees, and show up, man. You know what I'm saying? You show up to practice, and I'm just saying, worst case scenario, say you don't make the team or you don't make the cut, or like some of my offspring, or even myself, you make the team, they got you, you second string, you're on the bench. Man, still show up, have enthusiasm because you're living your dream, you know what I'm saying, that's going to attain you to your goals. A lot of people, what they miss is, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Like the people always tell, like Jim Rohn says, you know, what's great about becoming a millionaire is not the money, but it's the person that you become in the process of acquiring the money. Because once you become a millionaire, you're truly a millionaire in your heart. You can lose that money because you already know the process of how to do it because it's truly ingrained in you. So get in touch with your inner animal, your true self. Find what sport you really want to do and go through the process. You know, go see the coach, the authorizing body, get the paperwork, go get your doctor's physical, the blood work, get it signed, dated, turn it back in, and then show up, be present. Subscribe to my channel because I keep it real. I'm going to give you uh, real life actionable things. This ain't no theory. I'm going to give you real life examples where you can take the ball, I'm going to pass the ball off so you, you run with it because it's your ball. You know, everybody's running in a different direction. If you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to teach you how to take the ball of your own life and be in control of it. Till next time, OG Silverback out.